Good. Okay, so escaping, countering the triangle escapes. We've gone over counters for early triangle, mid triangle, and deep triangle. We're going to do counters for the deep triangle escape now. And the one that we learned previously was kind of like the Hindu push up one, where you go to the far knee. Were you here for that? I saw it on the video. Okay. Were you here for that? The Hindu push up escape? Yeah, yeah. Let, let me get you since you were, you've done it before. Yeah, where you just you go both arms to the far knee from the triangle. So we're going to learn something you can do when the guy starts using that escape on you. So this is a good one from the deep triangle because it puts your arm in position to do the escape. Exactly. Okay. So he's doing the right thing here, which is covering his top hand or his bottom hand with this hand. Okay. Because what I want to do is I want to attack this arm. All right. So let's say he doesn't do that. First of all, we'll make it easy on me. He goes the wrong way with it. Okay. So if he doesn't cover it, it's a lot easier for me to do what I'm about to do. All right. I'm going to sit my hips towards him and I want to get my belly behind his tricep. Okay. He's going to be wanting to get his elbow to the mat anyway. So this, this isn't that hard for me to do, which is to kind of get out of the way of the elbow. All right. I'm going to take two on one and peel this arm off. Okay. And I'm going to apply downward pressure to it and hip, hip in, which creates a Kimura, not Kimura, an Americana type lock on the shoulder. Okay. So he's here. I'm going here. The downward pressure is to keep it pinched between my body. Okay. Because once he feels that pressure coming on, he's going to be trying to posture up and pull the arm out of that position. Right. In which case, okay, then we can go to here. But for right now, if we're trying to get this move by applying the downward pressure, right, that's going to keep his elbow trapped on my hip. Okay. Moving my hips out this way and putting my belly behind his tricep also acts as a block. And then we lean back with it. And if that doesn't still work, then we hip in until we get a nice tap. Flexible shoulders, but Okay, so that's thing one, all right? If um, he's trying to do this move, but he's not, because there's different ways to do this. Some people will do it where they try to get their elbow all the way across and put it to the mat. Other people will just sit straight with you, but they'll put both hands up here, okay? So if his elbow's not going all the way to the mat, it's gonna be harder for me to get the Kimura lock because if his, bell, if his elbow's just like in my belly and I get the hand free and I try to turn it here, he's just gonna straighten it. In which case, we could go to the straight arm bar. Or if his elbow's in the center of my belly, we could do a wrist lock. This is the other thing we're doing today. Okay, so we get the hand free, two on one. We cover the top of his fist. We bring our arm through and figure four, grab our own wrist. And then we're pulling down towards our belly button and applying a wrist lock, okay? So if the elbow's coming across here and he's doing the escape this way, it's easier to do the shoulder lock, okay? Because you have this trap here. If he's trying to do it from up here and he's reaching up and grabbing, it's easier to peel the hand and cover it and do the wrist lock, just pulling straight down into your own belly. Okay. So those are the two, the two, um, locks that, that we're going to do today. If he covers his own hand, if he's smart about it, we need to try to fight this hand off first and then get it. However, we can get it two on one elbow down, get his elbow. If I can get his elbow to the mat and then hip in, I can get there. Or if he's smart about it and the elbows in my belly, then I can go here, wrist lock, okay? And if he really starts figuring out what's going on and he starts posturing up to straighten that arm, then we can straight arm bar it, okay? All right, makes sense, do you wanna see it? No? Any questions? So the two we're doing today is, if he reaches all the way across with the elbow, we're doing the Americana type lock using our belly as a, as a, as a base, right? Um, if he doesn't put the elbow all the way across, if it's more in the center, like closer to our belly button, swimming in, for that wrist lock. And if he tries to posture out, we already know that straight arm lock. Okay. Any questions? We all good? All right. Partner up. Five times each. One, two, three. Okay. 